Howdy, it's Meme on Abyss, and it's February, which means the month that sometimes I think about drawing a lot of pink love hearts, and then I get sad because love hearts need to be symmetrical sometimes, and I can't do that. <laughs> so last month, I drew the Star Child, and I redesigned her entirely, and I did talk a little bit about some of the other characters and saying that I might design redesign them, which I decided this month, yeah, might as well. It's February, I'll do Lova. Lova is a character based on love. So that's what I did. I, this is a redesign of Lova. I, I got really caught up in the redesign that I forgot to re actually record the beginning of the redesign, the redesign part of it. So we're just getting from the sketch uh, me picking out the colors, which I go through hell going through them because I, I have like multiple, two different like opposing views of what I want with the colors. And I'm like, I either want them like a really dark pinks, but I also want to keep them pink and I don't want to keep too many colors into it. And it's, it's a lot. So for Lova's design, um, she was pretty much the star child, but she was pink and she was covered in hearts. That's what her original design was. She was supposed to be literally a uh, star child, but pink, that, that's it. Uh, sad, not the sad one, but the lovely one, the one with hearts. Lova, whenever I drew her before this redesign, obviously, she was a more domineering personality. Uh, I probably haven't actually shared that much art of her because it was mostly in like my school books and stuff, but like she had a, a, a louder, more domineering, she was just more encompassing of a character. And that's what she was going to be in the story. I think it was more or less because Liver was supposed to be like some weird psychological ideal about love and stuff and how love is not exactly one thing and it is all this stuff. On the new design, I based her more off like a parasite, which <laughs> does not reflect my ideals of what love is. Um, love is multiple things, and I just, it's not something I can describe in words. <laughs> I can't describe most things in words, I don't know why I try. But I, I, I did design her of a parasite because I thought she'd look really cool like that. I, I made her sharp, I made her have like, uh, a teeth that kind of go around like a, um, what are they called? Leech, like a leech. Uh, I gave her like, big claws off her back. They were actually going to be extremely large, um, kind of Doc Ock-like claws, but with like, giant spider legs um they were going to be essentially the size of her but i just didn't like because i gave her the wide expression and the open arms along with the like power stance and her tail flicking out putting spider legs on it as well would just make it seem like a very large image and i didn't want her to be that big um so i gave her really small small little spider legs on her back and i guess it's literally magic and it's my art i can do what i want I if i needed or wanted to have them bigger i can say that they can just grow or whatever <laughs> i wanted her to be more of like a contradicting thing so she's got like this sharp look and yet it's covered in love hearts and she's got these big teeth and yet she's got these big love hearts light pink inner ears that that are like really big and bigger than her own head she's got like the oh what is it it's like a halo but the like all those things like a halo with they were supposed to be golden leaves but i wanted to keep it if i put like that much detail into the golden leaves i feel like it would distract from like the very basic design that i was going with so i was like mm, they don't they just have to kind of look like the, the the halo looking thing which i did patterns are really difficult so because you, you try to keep all the patterns that you're going for in like really specific places so that if you try to draw it again it's like I know where this goes so so I have like the patterns on her chest go underneath her neck and then they come down into like a love heart shape um and then on her collarbone they sit their little love hearts on her collarbone that like extend out and go onto her back and then just above her like chest and then just below her chest and they extend out towards and cover her arms. I didn't want her to have like a like a humanish design either. I don't think I want any of them to have humanish designs anymore. So I was like, I want her to have a tail. There's no reason for it. There is no rhyme. I just needed to put a tail on her. <laughs> and I thought it looked really nice with the design because then I could give more um, love heart shapes on the side of her tail and on the side of her legs. And I wanted to give her like feet claws because it would be like a contradiction to Star who had like little like nubs and hooves for then Lova to have big claws that are sharp and pointy. I also tried to give them like opposing gestures or yeah, opposing uh, poses and gestures. The last month, Star's pose was she's off to the side she's very uh close to herself she's crossing her legs over but she's still got an arm outreached and one to her side 
um, while Lova has her arms outstretched in a wide position, her ears make her seem bigger, um, her claws and her back claws are pointed upwards and her arms are on her waist in like a powerful pose and I was just like, yes, this is it. Love it. So like Star Child, uh, Lova also had the purple scarf. And I didn't want to add another purple thing around her neck because I was just like, I really like the open shirt, um, the V-neck kind of deal, whatever I was going on there. So I made the wrapping around the back pincers. I'm still not sure what to call those things. Um, claws, the back claws, the spider legs. We'll call them spider legs. I doubt I'll be bringing up one again. So the back spider legs of that purple wraparound is actually the reference to the original scarf that she had. I noticed that in Lova's designs, she didn't actually have wristbands, which I always found strange because I, I added wristbands to almost most of my characters. I still do because I just like them. They just give a place on the wrist and I, I like them. So I didn't have to worry about like any of that, but um, Lova, unlike Star, her design was um, just a flat pink. With the reference, Lova's design actually had, uh, it was actually a picture that had Lova, Star, and someone called Shka. But from there, Star got a redesign into the one that we saw uh, that I was referencing in the last video to make the newest, newest redesign. So Lova didn't get that redesign. So she's just fully flat pink with like diff slightly different pinks um, and the purple scarf. She even, she doesn't even have like white teeth. <laughs> uh, but I always, I, I don't actually know why I gave her white eyes and the pink love heart eyes, like pupils or whatever they're called. Because I, for a lot of the time that I did draw her, I always gave her like black, eye black eyes with like, um, the pink hearts inside of them. So I maybe I just never actually listened to my own references and I was just like, yes, in my mind, this is stunning. <laughs> so in the redesign of today, I did give her like her eye shape are love hearts and so are her irises and they're like the whites of the insides of the eyes. Well, they're not the whites of like a usual eye, but the inner inner eyes um, are like I don't know, I like the dripping uh, like love heart kind of look. I always found it strange that I'm, every time I draw a character based on Lova, which is a lot of them because I love the fact that like, I, I, I decided that pink and love hearts and all that shit was cool as hell. And they're gonna stay cool as hell. I don't care what other people think. They are cool and they're fun and they're really just a nice shape. Fight me on it, but I won't listen. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Um, I hope to see you next month. Bye.